Well, here I am. It's me, Deirdre. I'm feeling too great, but there's a lot going on. Uh, you know, uh, the news, of course. Uh, medical marijuana is uh, here in uh, Oregon, California, Washington, Colorado. We've got recreational marijuana in uh, Colorado, Washington, right up across the river from us here, under Portland, which is uh, right across Columbia River from uh, Portland. Now, let's say hello to everybody. Shout out. How you doing? Everything okay? Everything okay? All right. All right. I'm glad you're here. You, know, you have to be here. It's nice to have you. I'm trying to get rid of that. I don't know what that was all about, but I got rid of it. Anyway, uh, I wanted to mention a couple of things. Like, for instance, they're uh, they're finally getting into a, 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 a the uh, uh, idea of not calling the clinic uh, abortion clinics and abortion doctors. No such things. They're finally getting away from it. I'm so happy. Uh, I brought that up because it was important. Uh, and, and here goes little Rand Paul. Can you imagine this? Guy? Can you believe this guy? I mean, that is too damn funny. Goes right in front of the the Urban League of the United States, another basically an NAACP, and actually tries to speak to them about poverty. Now, if it were me. I think I would have at least, uh, maybe, you know, consulted someone. <laughs> I would, you know, I think I would ask somebody, uh, is this a good idea? Do you think I should speak in front of all these colored folk? <laughs> the guy's a fucking racist then, and he's going to stay a racist. He's a piece of crap. Uh, it's bad enough we've got a freaking black man up there who's not even know if he's black anymore. He actually, he's like a, he's like a little uh, a Republican in a new dress or something. Yeah, he's got me pretty fucking pissed off, man. I mean, I just, I'm an independent now. I'm no longer a Democrat. Never was a Republican. I just couldn't do that. No fucking way. I'm not doing it. However, independent. See, the thing is, when you're an independent, you don't have to worry about whose freaking primary you vote at. You can go have an effect on anybody's primary. You're an independent. You have a right to vote wherever you please. Unless your state comes up with some new goofy law like they, the way they like to. You know, you know how they're gerrymandering. It's funny. They call it that. My name is Gerald. Anyway, so hold on one second. Mr. Biscuit, what are you doing? It's my kitty. He's over there messing with me. Pat me on my butt and grab it for me like he does. Anyway, let's say back to the time. It isn't a whole lot. This this isn't a whole big deal. But, now, here we go. My brother, who's, who's a Vietnam veteran, uh, is also working, basically, for the state, taking care of me, because I'm a total... In, I mean, I'm a... I'm a wreck. I can't know how to get out by myself. Can't know how to do anything by myself. Uh, I'm weak all the time anymore. I've got my nerves are being destroyed. My muscles are being destroyed. I'm just, I'm wasted. So I need, you know, uh, I need a caregiver. Well, instead of a, a, a stranger, of course, I can ask my brother to give me my caregiver. He goes, man, I got this business. You know, I can't stretch. But uh, the guy, he, of course, he, he, he drops everything, comes to work for me. And here I am. I, I'm fucking, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I've lost my legs, and my fingers, and other crap, my teeth. See? I got all. I got all fucked up. I'm sorry I saw that dream, but this is reality. This is the way of life. And they want to pay people like minimum wage. 
uh, minimum wage. Here in Oregon, no matter what you do, you get paid ten dollars and ten cents an hour, at least minimum wage. Not enough. They got my brother working. He's on. He's on. But they consider a twenty-four hour uh, 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 guidance because I need someone here, like especially at night. And I try to go to bed. I go to sleep. Fall out of bed because I suffer from somnambulism and some other crap. And if he's not here, I'm fucked. So he works his fucking ass off. He's a Vietnam veteran. They they've got him on this uh, uh, had him on Kaiser for a while. Out of the fucking blue, he gets this fucking letter that says that he supposedly owes six hundred and seven dollars in premiums. And it's like, what the hell? He never played premium before. Now it's in this new uh, Affordable Care Act. I mean, we love the idea that people can get insurance now. The only problem is, the son of a bitch put it in the hands of the fucking insurance companies. Now they're ripping everybody up. $607 a month? Who goes to the doctors and spends that much money every month? Who does that? What if I never in my whole life, my brother, what if William never in his whole life gets into any health care situation? All the money he paid in, all the money these people pay in these insurance companies, are they going to get that back? Are they? I didn't think so. That's just one bit. You guys don't know. You're not even paying attention. My brother, I told you, he's a non-vet. He doesn't have to go to your stupid fucking Kaiser. Don't you get that? What you need to do is actually look at people's records and find out who they are, what they're about, before you send them these, I'm going to lose this customer letter. It's just stupid. It's like your people don't want to pay attention or something. It's bullshit. And, and to this day, I mean, it's like, been 11, 12 years, and he's still, he's still at only $13 an hour. Can you believe that crap? It's bullshit is what it is. And that's, that's just one more thing. And then we've got the unbelievable, I just, I can't go on with that. I don't, I don't want to say it right now. I'm going to have to go. Uh, let's get that Let's soak that in, okay? I hope you listen to close and if not, share it, okay? I know you got to share it out there. Come on. I know you do, Stan. And I know you do, TC. And I know you do, Terry. And all the rest of you, Larry Center, all you guys spread it around. St. Right. $607 a month for insurance health insurance. It's out fucking rages. Good night. We'll, we'll see y'all later, okay? I have to go now, because that's the way it works around here. This is the airplane signing off. Good night.